Hello my little bohemian roses, welcome back to the channel for another episode of Zoo Tycoon 2. Alright my little zookeepers, welcome back to the zoo. So we are here today with a new challenge campaign um, to... I think it's, what's the campaign called? I don't even remember what the campaign is called. Troubled Zoos, the Troubled Zoos campaign. Um, so, word of the Blue Fang Development Fund has spread and administrators have been notified of a facility in severe need of help. The Rain Tree Cooperative Animal Park is a new facility with the best intentions, but unfortunately, their zoo planners did not understand the needs of their animals. Exhibits are cramped and unsuitable for the animal's habitat needs. You have been granted 5,000 to improve the exhibit conditions for the animals at the park. The zoo has been closed due to the poor condition of the exhibits. You have the option of reopening the zoo at any time should you require additional funds. However, guests do not enjoy viewing unhappy animals. No new animals may be added to the park until the environment is made suitable for the existing animals. All right, so we need to satisfy the environment needs of all animals. I'm really not understanding how you cannot like get the animals need space and better environments and things like that so i'm not really getting that all right so i'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna take a look at this we have a pretty substantial space here and we have four exhibits we have the gem spock we have the drum dromedary camel we have a moose and we have a cheetah all right so we are gonna go ahead and just open up the zoo because you know what we are gonna need the funds but we're gonna go ahead and get everyone taken care of straight away so we're gonna start with miss moose okay so um we're gonna go ahead and start with her and we're just gonna go ahead and give her what she needs i don't think we have any yes we do let's give her some trees in this exhibit and we're gonna give her some more lichen okay now she does have food which is very important um i don't really want to spend the money on that bed just yet i know sweet cheetah that you need space but just let me s okay so we need to do the savannah here and we're gonna do a couple of little trees in here and then some grass all right We'll get to the like the enrichment items in a minute but i at least want to satisfy all of their needs first so we're going to come to the camel same thing let's get the hot hot desert for this camel and we're going to get a little tree right going here and some more grass okay now for the gems oh wow this um <laughs> this shelter is taking up pretty much all of their space but we're gonna go ahead and do the scrub they do not have any trees plants or rocks so that is gonna be a little um a little more difficult so now we can work on getting them more space so i'm gonna go ahead and do the cheetah first because the cheetah is definitely the one that's gonna need the most space so let's can i recreate the chain link fence can perfect we're gonna go ahead and do that it's not gonna be the prettiest in the world but at least it's gonna get our baby cheetah the space that she desperately needs she or he i don't even actually know okay let's see if this will be sufficient enough and then i'm going to turn around here so hopefully it'll be sufficient enough that's that's a lot of space they've got a lot of it's almost like a backyard it's almost like the backyard space to run um can i oh i can pick this up perfect i'm gonna actually pick this up and move it right back here um let's move it like this there we go i'm gonna pick it up and move it right back here and then i'm going to make more savannah i'm actually gonna get rid of these trees to make room for more trees there we go. And the foliage will give us a little bit more money to go with as well. Okay, so I don't know if our sweet cheetah baby knows that she now has more space. I kind of like to move them around to gauge whether or not they think that's enough. 
which it's not changing. Really? You need more space than that? Oh, wow. Okay, we might be in some dire, dire straits here. Okay, so um, we're going to have to change that then. We're going to have to change that then. I totally thought that would be enough space. So let's kind of bring this out. Maybe two more rows here. Maybe that will be enough. And let's delete all of that. And let's see how you feel. All right, I'm going to do the tropical savanna. And let's let's see how you feel, my dear. Perfect. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead, though, and I'm going to do, like, all the trees and rocks. Okay, you didn't actually do that. Okay, well, we're going to go ahead and put trees all in here for our sweet baby cheetah. Okay, perfect. We'll put in more grass later, but I feel like that that is a very good start. And then we'll start getting some enrichment items. Okay, so now we need to do the gemspock. There are three gemspock in this enclosure. So I feel like that we're definitely going to have to make more space for them. We might even have to take out the silly, stupid humongous <laughs> humongous uh thing here okay so i'm gonna go ahead and make more space right out of the back um actually let's do like three off the back and we'll put it just about here and then maybe maybe one off the front i think that would be good enough we'll make it more square oops we'll make it more square there we go. That probably is not enough, but I feel like that they're not as picky. Aha, that was perfect. All right, great. If they have any more babies though, we're gonna have we're gonna have some trouble. Okay, so we can actually move the small stable. Perfect. We'll move it actually a little more central. Okay. All right, great. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill up their food bowls as well. I'm actually gonna give them more hay here in a second as well. Miss Cheetah here. I keep calling her a miss and I don't actually know if it's a girl. So it's going to be real funny when I <laughs> try to get that fixed. Okay, so the moose, sweet moose girl over here needs more space as well. Let's go ahead and do that. I think what I want to do with hers is kind of do the same thing that I did with the cheetah. But I don't want to give her that much space because she's literally one moose. And I don't know if she'll actually need that much space. So we're going to do a little kind of awkward looking exhibits. But I feel like... Oh gosh. Okay, I just deleted that tree on accident, but that's okay. It was better than deleting the fence. Okay, is that enough for you? Let's find out. And... No. Okay, that's not enough for you. All right. Fine, 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 fine. So let's bring this up and make that. And that probably won't be enough either, but I just wanted to kind of make this space. You never know. Sometimes they, like, a little square goes a long way. Okay, that wasn't enough. <sighs> All right. Fine. Let's bring this out two more squares. I know these are not the most pretty exhibits, but trust me, you guys, typically what I do is I make them really kind of ugly at first and then I go back in and I make them really beautiful and change them up when we have more money to do so. Okay, so now we can move on to our camel. I don't, I can't click on the camel right now. Okay, so the camel, I'm going to go ahead and bring the fence I'm gonna go ahead and bring the fence out probably one no two squares uh, but it's gonna take away from that pretty little picket fence and I don't want to do that so I'm gonna bring it out two squares here I'm gonna make an edge and then go up and then make an edge here and here and go kind of I don't want to actually make that big of a dip though so we'll do the dip right like, oh crud, right like this. 
and nope, oh, that's not what I want to do. And then bring it in like so. Perfect. I know. Again, funky looking little fencing. But you guys, I'm telling you, sometimes the exhibits just need to be funky looking for them to work later on. All right. So where did our sweet camel go? So I can actually see if this is going to work. Perfect. That was actually perfect on the first try. All right. So here we go, and I'm gonna delete these little tropical things in there. Beautiful, okay. So everyone's needs are met, right? Wrong one, Where there it is. We need to satisfy the environment needs of everyone. So is everyone's environment needs satisfied? Yes, okay. So that is perfect. You're still a little, Mm, you're still not liking your exhibit it looks like you're still kind of like you got the green going on like you're like mm, I'm really not a fan okay gosh you're pickier than the stinking cheetah okay um uh, how much farther can I extend this I mean typically like in our wolf quest series you probably like moose have a lot of room to roam so I actually shouldn't be too too surprised that she wants more space there we go. Beautiful. Okay, so how is everyone doing with this? Great. Okay, so I want to go in and I want to take care of everyone's food and water situation. I don't actually see any gates, so that'll be the next step. For that, let's fill up your meat and your water. And let's go over here and fill up your meat and your water. Meat and your water. Your hay and your water. Okay, so you guys, let's see. So we are definitely a female, duh. We are definitely a female, perfect. Miss Cheetah then. Um, we have a male Gemsbok, we have a female Gemsbok, and I would assume that the other one is also a female Gemsbok, perfect. And then we have our male camel. Okay, so we're gonna have to come up with names for them. Um, you guys are more than welcome to leave name suggestions down below for our sweet little um, baby animals here. So like I said, we have a male camel, a female moose, a female cheetah, two female gemsbok, and one male gemsbok. Leave your name suggestions down below. I love naming my animals in every zoo I do because it just gives them more of a flair. All right, so this exhibit isn't looking too, too shabby. We're going to do a little clean up here. And let's make sure. So our social meat is not net met, but we should be getting the thing to satisfy environment means. Maybe it takes a little bit just to be sure. But yeah, I kind of want to give the camel more trees. I definitely kind of want to give the camel more trees. Let's... uh. Put some more acacia trees in here and let's definitely put some more shrubbery in here. Now the Gemsbok don't have anything that I can put in, which is kind of upsetting, um, but it'll have to do for now. And then, oh, we can actually put some rocks into the Boreal Forest exhibit, which is exactly what I want to do. We're going to put a little rocks. Perfect. Okay, guests need more bathrooms. Oh shoot, there's not a bathroom at all. Okay, well, let's go ahead and fix that right now for our guests because they are the ones making sure that we can keep this zoo alive. Um, let's go ahead and put the bathroom right here now. And let's go ahead and put the bathroom at the entrance. I always love seeing a bathroom at the entrance to any zoo, just kind of in case, you know, they had a long car drive and they need to use the bathroom. All right, you guys, so things are looking pretty good here. I'm actually really pleased with this. I kind of do want to do like water features in every exhibit. I really like to have natural running water through every exhibit. If you go to any zoo in your hometown, you'll probably notice there's a lot of like either water dividing the front of the exhibit or the enclosure from you. So that way like a big um, like canyons almost just so that way the animals can't come up to the glass. Um, 
and stuff like that. Oh, the Rain Tree Cooperative Animal Park is grateful for your help. Using what they have learned from you, they will continue to evolve their facility with the understanding that space and environment are important parts of animal care. Oh, well, that was pretty dang simple. Okay, well, that was, uh, that was more simple than I thought it would be. All right, you guys. Well, typically I like to say that I like to stick around um, in our zoos and continue on. So let me know if you guys want to do that. I actually really eventually do want to take a campaign zoo that we've done um, and rebuild them and make more money from them. I kind of want to do that with all the campaign zoos. So let me know what you guys think, but I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. And in the next episode, we'll start the next campaign. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this part, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos from me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!